Hi guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. And today I wanna to talk about the balancing act. You'll have to forgive my voice. Um, we had a cheerleading competition in Virginia Beach, US finals. And as you can tell by the lack of voice, we did really well. Um, so there was lots of screaming, lots of fun, um, but bear with me and we will get through today. So first and foremost, thank you for tuning in. I do wanna take a moment to just thank you guys. Um, some of you guys have been a part of Motivational Monday since the very beginning. And I often don't take time to say a thank you for that. And one of the things that I'm personally working on is showing more appreciation for the things that people do um, and for those around me. And that does include my Nicole's Network family. And I'm so thankful that you guys tune in. Um, and for those of you who give feedback like, hey, you know, I really got something from this post or whether it's Motivational Monday or Thoughtful Thursday, your comments mean the world to me. Um, and I don't take that for granted. And it's really encouraging to know that you guys are getting something from these messages. And it really is what motivates me to keep going. With that being said, I know a lot of people that I'm connected to are involved in so many different things. And that's why today I want to talk about balancing act because it really requires a a strong skill set of learning to balance everything that we have going on. So, for example, um, on top of working my regular job, I have my business, I coach cheerleading, I'm involved with my sorority, and I'm an active participant in my church experience, and I'm trying to be more active in my church as well. Um, and with all of that, trying to find time for myself, finding time for my family, finding time for my friends um, can be a bit challenging sometimes. And I know there are times where I drop the ball in this area or the other. And so for me, it's about resetting and recharging and making sure that I don't allow um, one mishap or a misstep to, you know, kind of catapult the whole thing. If you get a flat tire, you don't throw the whole car away. You fix it and you move on. And it's really just that simple. Um, and so learning to find that balance is absolutely key. Before we kind of get deeper into that conversation, I want to share a quote that I heard from T.D. Jakes that transformed my whole life. And keep in mind, this is a um, representation, and I don't know that this is a direct quote, but the gist of what he was saying was he was asked, how do you balance, how do you manage being involved in all the many different areas that you are involved in. And his response was, I know that I'm going to drop the ball on something. And I know I'm going to disappoint someone every day. It's my job not to make that a habit. It's my job to make sure that I'm not disappointing the same person every day and that I'm not dropping the same ball every day. And recently I had a conversation with my mother and we were talking about that quote and kind of a little bit of other things as well. And I think I said something that really opened my eyes. Honestly, I was like, huh, that makes sense. And so when you're cooking multiple things, you can only have two things at your front burner at a time. I've never seen a stove that had multiple burners lined up at the front. So you have to decide What's your current priority? And sometimes that's going to change every year. Sometimes it's a quarterly change. Sometimes it's a monthly change. Sometimes it's a daily change. What is today's priority? What is my focus for today? And take comfort in that. You cannot accomplish everything that's on your list in one day. You just can't. So sometimes you have to decide what is today's priority? What am I going to be great at today? And tomorrow, that may be something different. For example, this weekend, I had to focus on how am I going to be the best coach I can possibly be this weekend. That's it. I couldn't focus on my sorority. Unfortunately, I didn't even have time to focus on my business. I couldn't focus on being a great um, 
you know, coworker because I wasn't there. Um, but my priority was how can I be the best coach I can possibly be? And my little sister went with me. So I was focused on being a great coach and being a great sister. That was my priorities. That's it. That's all. But today I'm focused on how can I be a, how can I be focused and engaged in my business? How can I grow personally? After I came back from this trip, I found myself really exhausted and I wanted to go to a church event. I wanted to support my sorority sisters in a different event, but I had to say, how can I be the best me right now? I had to recharge because I was exhausted and I had to decide that being the best me was my priority. And I literally shut down from everything. I put my phone on airplane mode for the first time. And when I tell you it was the most rejuvenating experience I've ever had, because I'm a fan of the do not disturb feature, huge fan. Putting it on airplane mode, I didn't even see the notification didn't even come through until this morning when I woke up. I went to bed early. I caught up on my TV shows. I laid around and did whatever I wanted to do without any possible distractions. And what I learned is that I'm too addicted to my phone because for this to be the first time I'm willing to say, no, nothing, not an ounce, no communication with the outside world. To me, that's a problem. But I had to decide, I'm going to practice what I preach. If I'm going to practice self-love, if I'm if I'm going to preach self-love and self-care and creating balance in your life, that's what I'm going to do. And as much as I wanted to go to both of those, I had plans on going to both events. After driving up and down the, the East Coast, um, driving from Virginia Beach to D.C. to Maryland to this and the third, and still trying to get to these events, I had to decide. I need to be there for me right now. And that was my priority. I had to decide that me was my priority. And maybe I dropped the ball as far as being a sorority sister. Um, Maybe I dropped the ball as far as going to this church event. Um, But I, I really had to decide to put me first and do so unapologetically. And it was the best thing I could have possibly done really and truly because it was such a sense of peace and that peace has allowed me to re-engage as opposed to just dragging through and so because of that I'm able to you know have this time with you guys I'm able to be engaged in my sorority I'm able to be focused and I'm able to um be productive because I'm rested. And that is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes you have to balance it all and you cannot pressure yourself to do everything at the same time. You can do everything and you can have everything that you want to have in your life, but sometimes you have to say, listen, this is not my current priority. Just don't put it on the back burner for too long because then you'll forget about it. And that's where the problem comes in. But learning to make adjustments and say, okay, this is what I'm focusing on. This is what today's priority is. This is what this week's priority is. This month, whatever time frame it has to be, adjust and govern yourself accordingly, but don't feel like you can't do everything. Just recognize you can't do everything at the same time. So with that being said, I hope you got something from today's message. Um, If you have, I would love to hear your thoughts. Honestly and truly, hearing your thoughts keeps me going. Um, So if you did receive anything from today's message, please, please, please feel free to share this message. Um, Subscribe if you have not to my YouTube channel. Um, Make sure that you are engaged and comment and share it with someone who needs to hear it as well. Thanks, guys.